Now, some good news for the embattled retailer HMV as it struggles to emerge from administration. Hilco UK, a retail restructuring group, has acquired all the company's debt. This means, in effect, that it now controls the entertainment chain, which is currently being managed by its administrators, Deloitte. Hilco, which already owns HMV Canada, has bought the debt of HMV from the group's lenders, Lloyds and the Royal Bank of Scotland. HMV's net debt last October stood at £176 million, but Hilco is believed to have paid less than this because the retail chain is in administration. HMV, which has been trading for 92 years, has 223 UK stores in total and a workforce of about 4,000 people. Well, joining me now is George MacDonald, executive editor of Retail Week. Evening, George. Uh, clearly, Hilco sees some value in HMV. What could it possibly be? Well, I think um, since HMV collapsed, you've seen this great outpouring of uh, affection for the brand. Um, they've got their experience in Canada. They know the suppliers. Um, but equally, uh, it can't be the same old, same old. Uh, some radical surgery will be needed. I can't imagine they'll have anything like the same number of stores um, they really need to reinvigorate it so a smaller number of shops greater focus online uh, perhaps a, a new sense of uh, purpose to sort of rekindle that excitement around an entertainment name that, that's really dulled a sort of mythology is built up here I keep reading in the press you know one of Britain's best loved brands well if it's so loved why has it gone bust well, very good point, and I think that shows the scale of the task that must be ahead of Hilco. Um, because, you know, the last few weeks, it's not just been HMV. Uh, Jessup's has gone as well. Blockbuster has gone. You know, these uh, categories that can easily be bought online or products that can themselves be digitalized are, um, you know, changing beyond all recognition. So big ask, even though Hilco has got a good background to come in from. And before we gallop away with the idea that because because there is a so-called rescue investor all as well, these rescue investors do get it wrong, do they not? I'm thinking in particular of Dick Sporting Goods, which stuck 20 million quid into JJB and lost its money in a blink of an eye. Well, that's right. Um, you know, it's great that there's going to be an attempt to rescue it, but the scale of change in that market is really seismic. So it is going to be a big ask. And, um, you know, I don't think people who work for HMV can uh, sleep entirely securely in their beds yet. But good news that someone with some knowledge thinks they can give it a go. Indeed, there is hope. Now, what about the other retail story today? And that is that uh, Stuart Rose, Sir Stuart Rose, to you and me, is going to be the new chairman of Ocado. Of course, he was once executive chairman of Marks & Spencer. The stock market liked it. The, uh, the share price shot up. Yeah, I think um, it uh, symbolises a lot of things. You know, it's a change of chairman. Um, Michael Gray, the outgoing chairman, has been with Ocado since before the float. It's had a rocky ride since the float. So um, there's a chance for a bit of a, a new start. So Stuart Rose is a great business communicator, so perhaps he can open the doors a bit to the sceptics in the city. Um, but a lot of people are very sceptical about the Ocado business model, so it will really call on all his skills of... Um, charisma and persuasion to make people think again. That's right, because the uh, the big problem there, as I understand it, is that Ocado's main supplier, John Lewis, is now doing all this stuff for itself. It is. Um, you know, Ocado sells Waitrose product, Waitrose's online business is growing, and that's even before you think about the scale of businesses like Tesco online already, Sainsbury's, Asda, they're all there, all fighting for this market. But it is a time of change for Ocado. They're about to open a new warehouse that will allow them to serve more customers better um, so it may in time prompt um, a bit of a, a rethink but the proof of the pudding will be in the eating uh, whether it's Waitrose pudding or something else. Indeed or Ocado's pudding or indeed a Marks and Spencer's pudding. It's lovely to see you. Many thanks. Let's see if Stuart Rose still has his mojo. Joel, George McDonald, uh, thanks for coming in.